It's an incredibly exciting day for us today as we announce that we have just been acquired by Canva. Acquired by Canva. By Canva. I called it. I called it. About a year or so ago, more than a year maybe, I said on Twitter, if Affinity wanted to grow to the point of where it might be an actual competitor of Adobe, then it would need to be acquired by a bigger company. And the company I thought was the most likely to buy them this can't fight. People laughed. They laughed at me. They thought it was the most ridiculous notion ever because Canva isn't for real designers. And here I am talking about Affinity, even though in the last video I said, I'm not gonna talk about Affinity anymore, but here we are. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. But this is different because this is like news and information. And this is things I will share in my newsletter, The Hungry, or I'll share on my personal blog and, and talk about it. So this all makes sense. I'm not gonna go dive deep into design aesthetics and all this stuff with Affinity anymore. That's okay, sorry, not gonna happen. But when news like this breaks, we gotta talk about it. So let's talk about it. One of the things that I wanted to do in the next generation of videos here is I wanted to be a little bit more conscientious of the script and pay attention to what I'm saying and sharing and be more, just be more thoughtful. But this is news news, and news news needs to be shared now now. And so I'm a little bit off the cuff right now. Bear with me as I um and on my way through this one. But like I said, we do need to talk about it. And I wanna start with the very first thing that I found peculiar about the CEO's announcement. Tell me one thing that you're most proud of about the Affinity journey so far. I think the, the, the thing that we're definitely most proud of is that when we first started developing Affinity, our kind of dream, if you like, was to win an Apple Design Award. Why is that the biggest accomplishment? That you won a design award? That's really what you think about when you think about your accolades? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. And it doesn't really make me feel good as a user that it has absolutely nothing to do with whatever innovation that they might feel like they've they've approached or uh, achieved with their apps. It has nothing to do with acquiring new customers and and you know having the you know record growth or anything like that. It has everything to do with like, hey, we got an award. And I think that's weird. But let's talk about this acquisition because like I said, I anticipated it. In fact, I'm actually shocked that it hadn't happened sooner, to be honest with you. And I think that it honestly is going to be a good thing for Affinity. Now they're gonna have all kinds of money to invest in the software to make it as good as they possibly could. They were a really small company and they just didn't have enough revenue to really make huge leaps in innovation like Adobe does. Adobe has money coming out of every pore, every orifice. They have all kinds of money to invest in innovation. Canva is also making tons and tons of money. They are the number two creative suite software thing, whatever you wanna call it, on the planet. And so it makes sense that if they have all this money, they can take some of that money, inject it into Affinity, and maybe make it com really truly competitive with Adobe. It's gonna take a long time before any of that even happens, but once it does, like Adobe might actually start to feel a little bit of the pinch finally. So yes, I do believe that this is going to be a good thing for Affinity because they're gonna get that injection of revenue into it and that'll help them innovate. But there's still the conversation to be had about what's gonna happen with the pricing in the future. Nobody's Nobody knows that right now. At least we don't know that right now. Affinity might not even know it right now, but I bet you Canva has a conversation in their head about what the future is gonna look like there. But let's look at Canva's pricing right now and kind of extrapolate out about what could potentially happen with Affinity. So as I'm looking at the website right now for Canva, it says that they do have their free version, which you get a lot in their free version, but there are some nuances, some, some, you know, some tools that you don't get to use, you don't get access to their stock imagery and all that. I mean, there's some, but not all. Or you upgrade to the Canva Pro, which is 120 bucks a year, or like 15 bucks a month if you decide to do the monthly plan. It's not terrible as far as, you know, subscriptions go because Adobe is what, 50 something dollars now? I don't even know, I haven't checked. So you have this freemium model over here, which I wonder if they will take that eventually and apply it to Affinity. You get Affinity for whatever the enterprise cost would be. Like right now it's, well normally it would be 50 bucks per app. So for all three of the main apps, it would be $150. But then if you wanted access to certain tools that they might eventually add to those apps, like say all the AI innovation that Canva has put into their software, but they also apply it to the Affinity tools. If you want access to that, then you have to pay like an extra fee. Or if you want access to all of the tools that Canva has available, like layouts and images and you know whatever things go on, 
you can have that integrated in, but you have to upgrade to the Pro model, which is like 120 bucks. Might even go up even higher depending on how they decide to run this. They could also just do a standard subscription where you pay a flat fee every single month or you know annual fee every single year. And that's just it. That's how it's gonna operate. Maybe it's 20 bucks a month or $29 a month to use the entire suite, but I don't know. It could be that I'm speculating. I don't know anything. Although I don't think that that's really how it's gonna go. Canva has done really well with their freemium model. And I think that they've realized like if it works, why try to break it? If it's not broke, don't fix it. So they probably will just take their freemium model some way and put it into the affinity suite in some manner. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna play out. Or it could be completely wrong and all they do is maybe raise the price of the software, integrate the new tools, and they just make it better than it already is. But then I got to thinking about the iPad apps and the app store in general. And then I thought to myself like, that really works well with subscription models. Games work that way, some of the other apps work that way. I mean, I'm sure they do have some apps that you can buy one time and just use them, but a lot of games and a lot of apps have in-app purchases. Maybe you buy the initial app and then when you need certain tools or you need to upgrade or add certain things like stock images, image, images, image, images, you can do that through a subscription or you pay for play or whatever it is. Again, speculation, and I've introduced a whole bunch of different ideas, so I don't know which one's gonna be right, but I know one of them's gonna be right. <laughs> Like, if I just cover all the bases, then I'm guaranteed to be right at least once. And what does it mean for me as a designer and an artist? Not a whole lot, to be honest with you. It's not going to change my workflow. It's not going to change anything. If I have to pay a subscription to use it, then okay, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. The enterprise software is probably going to work for a long time, although they probably will stop supporting it after a certain amount of time. And as long as that enterprise software works on my machine, then I'm golden. I don't have to change anything. And in the future, if I don't share the thoughts here, I'll probably share them on the newsletter, which you can find right here. You can also go down to the description and click the link and subscribe to the Hungry Newsletter because that's where I operate most times, guys. And while you're headed down there, make sure you hit the like button and then share this with all your creative friends who might be interested in whatever it is that we're talking about here. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate you. I'm off on vacation for a little while, so you probably won't see me for a bit, but uh, when I come back, I will have a tan and probably a, I don't know, a lay around my neck. Here today, gone to Maui. I'll see you next time.